when people stake uh, Hedron, they stake Icosa, and and they mint uh, Watson and all this stuff. When can they actually get liquidity for them? When you know what what are the periods and uh, what are the gotchas there? So there are minimum stake lengths for Hedron and Icosa stakes, and they're based upon how basically how much you're staking in relation to the total supply of the token. So the, the minimum is 30 days no matter what, but it could be 90, 180, 270, or 360 days. And that's your minimum time. Whatever the, the actual app will tell you what your minimum time will be. So you'll go in there, you'll stake. It says, hey, your minimum stake length is 180 days. So that means if you end it within that 180 days, there's a penalty. Um, and it's linear. So it, like if you end it day one, 99% of your yield, 99% of your principal is poof, given to other stakers. Um, if you have one day remaining, you get 99% of everything. So it's just a linear scale. Um, after that minimum stake length is up, you, you don't have to end your stake. It can go forever, right? Like there's no end. Unlike like Hex has, you, you define how long your stake's going to be. Yeah, you, you don't do that in Icosa. You just let it go for as long as you want it to go. Um, the only like weird little thing that, that's different here is that um, with Icosa, you can add to your stake and Hedron, right? So if you want to add to your Hedron or Icosa stake, you can add more coins to it and make your stake bigger and get more yield on the following days. Um, and that will reset your minimum when you do that. So, mm. so like, and we've seen like the past few days, there's people who've at, who are adding every single day, you know, because they're, they're, they're going at this from a long-term mindset, right? Where they're like, I'm probably going to stake for a couple of years anyway. So it doesn't matter if I reset this. Why, why would you stay for a couple of years? Like, what are the benefits to leaving in, uh, going way past the minimum? Do you need to, do you, like, to get the value that you put in out, especially for Watsa, do you need to be in six months or a year? Well, we won't know that for Watsa for a while, right? Because, like, right now, I think Watsa's, like, looking at paying out by, like, 170-ish days in, but... Uh, that can change, right? More people are constantly joining it. The payouts are going down globally because it's getting split across more people. So that could take longer for, for there actually to be a one-to-one -one repayment. 